Welcome to World Bites, friend, where I share bite-sized messages that bring big-time changes to you. And I am Wumi Ademola. If you want to live the blessed life, the victorious life that God intends for you, beloved, you've got to always have faith in God. Jesus said it, Mark 11, 22, have faith in God. You need to maintain your faith in God no matter what is going on around you. Things may look like if they're going from bad to worse, don't be moved. Maintain your faith in God. So today we're going to talk about how to maintain faith in God. But first of all, you need to understand that faith originates from God. Faith in God is not something you can make happen in your own human determination or energy. No, faith is something that God imparts to you. Faith originates from him. As a matter of fact, the trans, the, a better translation of Mark eleven twenty two 22 uh, says that have the faith of God or faith that comes from God. Faith comes from God. And we're told in Hebrews 12, 2, that he is the author as well as the finisher of our faith. So it's very important that you understand that faith is not something you can make happen. Make yourself believe God. You can't do that. You must uh, trust God, allow God to impart his faith to you and so that you in turn can exercise that faith the way God wants you to. So today let's talk about the three main ways that God imparts faith. The three main ways that faith comes from God to you. Now first of all, faith comes by hearing the word of God. God imparts his faith to you as you hear his word. Romans 10 17 says, so then faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Notice, friend, that it did not just say that faith comes by studying or reading God's word. It said faith comes by hearing with your ears the word of God. So faith comes as you listen to messages such as this, as you listen to teachings, the preaching of the word. And also, very importantly, faith comes as you speak God's word out of your mouth. That's very important. The more you speak scriptures out of your mouth, let's say for instance, friend, you're sick in your body. The more you speak the scripture by the stripes of Jesus Christ, I am healed. I am no longer sick. By the time you keep saying it over and over again, God is going to impart faith into your heart. So faith comes as you speak it out of your mouth. 2 Corinthians 4.13 says, And since we have the same spirit of faith, according to what is written, I believed and therefore I spoke, we also believe and therefore speak. So as you speak God's word out of your mouth, you begin to believe it more. And God imparts his faith to you. Now, the second way that faith comes from God to you is as you pray in the Holy Spirit. Jude 20 says, but you, dear friends, continue to build yourselves up in your most holy faith as you keep praying in the Holy Spirit. And what does it mean to pray in the Holy Spirit? It means to pray in tongues. As you pray in tongues, your faith is going to be built up and is going to grow stronger. 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 4, the first part of verse 4 says, A person who speaks in tongues is strengthened personally. And I want to add strengthened personally in faith. And then it goes on to say in verse 14 and 15, it says, For if I pray in tongues, my spirit is praying, but I don't understand what I am saying. Well then, verse 15 says, what shall I do? I will pray in the spirit, that is, I will pray in tongues, and I will also pray in words, I understand. I will sing in the spirit, and I will also sing in words, I understand. Because as you pray in the spirit, sing in the spirit, I know this from experience, faith is going to be rising up in your heart. When you pray in tongues, you are strengthened personally, you are strengthened in faith. And if for any reason you don't pray in tongues, you've not received the baptism of the Holy Spirit with the evidence of praying in tongues, I have included in the description a link uh, to a video that I shared about, that I taught about how you can receive the baptism 
of the Holy Spirit with the evidence of speaking and praying in tongues. So first of all, God's faith is imparted to you as you hear the word of God. Secondly, as you pray in the spirit or pray in tongues. And last but not the least, God imparts faith to you as you fast. Fasting is another way that faith comes from God to you and your faith is strengthened and maintained regardless of what is going on around you. The Lord Jesus Christ in Matthew 17, you know, in response to the disciples' question that, you know, why couldn't they uh, heal the epileptic boy? And Jesus had responded to them that it was because they didn't have enough faith because of their unbelief. And then he went on to say in verse 20 and 21, he said, I tell you this, if you had even a faint spark of faith, even faith as tiny as a mustard seed and the faith Jesus is referring to is not human faith, but the faith that comes from God. Jesus says just a little bit of the faith that comes from God is enough to say to a mountain, move from here to there. And because of your faith, your faith that came to you from God, the mountain will move. And then he went on to say, if you had just a sliver of the God kind of faith, you would find nothing impossible. But listen to what he then says in verse 21. He says, but this kind what kind? This kind of faith. This is the context in which he's talking. And so this kind really refers to this kind of faith. This kind of faith, Jesus said, is not realized except through much prayer and fasting. So to have the God kind of faith, the faith that comes from God, the faith that only a little bit of it will move a mountain, and will give you the miracle you desire, you have got to give yourself to a lifestyle of fasting as well as prayer. You need to fast often and not occasionally. And the more you give yourself, friend, to a life of fasting and prayer, the stronger you're going to discover that your faith is growing. You're going to discover that nothing moves you. It's easy to believe God no matter how impossible things look. So friend, keep hearing the word, give yourself to prayer, keep praying in the spirit, give yourself to a life of fasting. I suggest at least once a week and you are going to be that person that has incredible, great faith that comes from God. I do trust you, my blessed dear friend. Please share this video with as many people as you can on your social media platforms. If you've not done so, subscribe to this channel, hit the notification bell, and you'll be the first to know when the next episode comes out. And of course, follow all my social media handles. I look forward to another awesome time with you next time. God bless you.